Hey, what's up, guys? Um, first of all, they should be clear. Um, first of all, you know, like obviously the dream realm is very untapped and they can be on. very random. Hold on, Black. Hold on, bro. Hold on. You want to know if somebody's got ADHD? Look at my history. Uh, let's see, Biggie, Hoffa, Dad, Mark Three, uh, uh, went on a horror movie binge. Uh, what was before that? The Mob, uh, Backgrounds, uh, horror stuff, wrestling, a lot of wrestling, Serial People, Unsolved Mystery, John Bonet. I've been thinking about her a lot for some reason. The Rock. Why did I say rock like that? Hofdor. Well, it's saying about Hofdor, but. Go follow Hofdor, Julius Brunson, the strongest man to ever live. That's 400 pounds, by the way, y'all. This is, uh. This is, uh pro strongman competition weight. About 10 seconds, 12, 13, 14 seconds. That don't make no sense. Just so you know, um, Hopthor is not um, like one of them like if I freestyle and I mess up a word, but you know what I meant, then I'm a real rapper because I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go back and redo it, even though I thought about it, just because I don't want to embarrass myself. But, um, oh, if you like wrestling, go follow this guy, Mark E.D. Mark Y.D. One, two, three. He's real funny. Um, who is this Irish dude? Is that Ireland? Yeah. Pat O'Dwyer is the world's strongest man. Yeah, that's... Hold on. I ain't never left the U.S., y'all. I like messing with people. I like, do you speak American? Oh, I got a lift ride with a... Uh... I've never seen a Tesla before. When I tell y'all I don't care about expensive stuff, I really don't. Like... Most expensive stuff I've ever had is that computer. It's like, it was like $1,900. But it's also like a work computer. It's a gaming computer. It's a really good computer. Um, the PlayStation, and this is like 300. But see, this is just one processor. And this other one, the higher the number on the eye is how many cores it has. So it's got five processors. The, the best one now is nine. Meaning that, um, um, the faster your processor on your computer, the more uh, quickly it'll respond to doing things and the more processes it can run at a time. So kind of like your computer's smarter and can think quicker and move quicker. It's kind of like having a creative character in wrestling or a sports game and they got all 99 and all their stats are the best. This one is like the lowest rating possible. It's like a 50 versus a 99, if you don't know. Uh, anyway. The reason I want to show you my history is because... I just made, I don't know how did I go to my videos? I just uploaded this like an hour ago. Yeah, oh, thank you for the four views. Why do I be looking? I don't ever be doing my thumbnails, my stuff be, oh, thanks for the 29 views on the horror movies. Uh, anyway, um, okay, 33 of them things, okay, okay. 45 people. How many likes did I get? Like four? I'm just curious. Actually, you know what? So you know what? I think it's just me. Okay. I don't... 
The reason I'm always repeating myself, y'all, is because until people start telling me to shut up about saying the same thing, I'm the same that I am yesterday that I was 10 years ago that I was, you know. Anyway, I'm not fake, that's the point. Say, daddy ain't fake, is he, Harley? You got the best daddy? You about to have a mommy, too. You want a mommy? Yeah, you like her, don't you? Yeah, they like her, daddy. I went right up to hers. I rubbed on hers. She didn't, she didn't sit on daddy's lap. She got on her lap. I was over here, and she usually jumps up on the table to here and gets on me. She's been doing it all day. But I was here. My lady was here. And uh, she went around, like she went like this, over here, and then got to her on that side. Little girl, what about daddy? Oh, and she said, uh, she said, uh, I said, I got, uh, I think I said there's two girls in the house now or something. I mean, obviously we're not married yet or nothing, but for once in my life, I'm going to do the right thing. Actually, I'm glad I said that. Um, well, I ain't saying you got to get married or nothing, but, um, I feel like when, um, well, I don't feel I know from my own experience, but when God blesses you with, um, especially the things that you want and desire, the desires of your heart, um, you know, the least you could do is do the right thing by God. That's all I'm saying. And for me, that would be to, uh, get married and quit bouncing around like Pong or something. Anyways, I got off track. I oh, this ain't that long. So I just uploaded a video an hour ago. And as you can see, I watched Tatha and then Biggie and this. So, this guy, more black balloon, go ahead and follow him. He, uh, that's his channel right there. He, uh, also has a cat, also a brother, but no sooner than when I'm, and I, I, for some reason I just didn't click on this video, and he literally said something that I was just saying, and this isn't me saying it, I don't know if he's married or not, but that's really kind of irrelevant, but let me see, Let's, he said the same thing, and I just happened to watch this video, so I just want y'all to hear this. This is exactly what I just said, but just hearing that somebody else said. I don't choose to have sex with random people or, you know, we just end up in a long relationship with somebody that we know we shouldn't be with. This is what you create. This is what causes the relationship to go on longer than it should because you are now tied with the man or with the woman. And you wonder why you can't break it because you don't know how to because it's a spiritual connection now. And now you've taken on all kind of energies and like I said earlier, traumas, you know, things from that person past, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, generational curses, you've now taken on a lot of stuff that you may have never dealt with in your life. And then, you know, to take it even further than that, like he went through, you got a lot of women who will pick these hexes on you or try to just because y'all are breaking up and they don't want to see you move on. But you got to remember, that's that spirit that's in control that is wanting to see you stay in the same place that you've been in. Everything is all right when you're just blind and ignorant to it. But when you start to become aware and you're trying to move on and better yourself, that's when you run into a bunch of problems, spiritually, you know? That's when you start experiencing things that got you like, wait a minute, I wasn't going through this before. 
but now when you're trying to get yourself right, you know, you're about to start to go through some of the things that, you know, you set yourself up with, but you just didn't realize you were setting yourself up. And by that, I mean those soul ties. Now those demons are really about to start messing with you because you're trying to break that soul tie. You know, when you're living in it, they cool, you know, they're not really messing with you like that. But now you're trying to break it, you're trying to get out of that relationship, you're trying to better yourself. Boom, now you got to deal with a bunch of other shit that life is about to throw at you. All right, I'm glad he said that. So, uh, it was about a year and, well, it was, it was like, it's been a, over a year and a half, almost two years since I've been single, but then about the year and three month mark or so, I started, um, oh, and this is another thing I'm glad I mentioned, uh, <laughs> it's actually ironic too, you can't make this up. Um, I just been getting like it's like a message, like like five o'clock a message, three o'clock, uh, a like, five o five, a match whatever right, I just kept going like that, and um, then I started having all these numbers in my phone, and I would talk to the woman for like. I don't know, three or four days, and I wouldn't hear from her, and then between being sick and all that, it's like, well, if, if you're not interested, then okay, and then I left that alone, and, uh, because when you're talking about marrying somebody, if they're interested, they're going to let you know, trust me, because you say women are just like uh, cats, if they like you, they like you, if they don't, they don't, if they don't want nothing to do with you, uh, they're not going to give you the time of day. Uh, but if they like you, then they'll they'll, uh, they'll give you the time of day. My analogy is a trail That's all I got. Come here, baby girl. You want to be daddy? Hi, baby. Hi, mama. You're a real pretty girl. Yeah, that's a real pretty girl. Real pretty girl. Say, daddy, what do you smell like, daddy? You baby girl too. You're a baby girl too. Mm -hmm, mm, got that tail. She gets upset when uh, if she sees you steal her hair, she gets upset. Like she'll try to eat it. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Oh wow. Hair, hair. Hi, mama. Say hi. Hey, it's Harley girl. No, but um. So, I downloaded this one app, and I never didn't even know it was an app. I was just, like, randomly downloading uh, dating apps. And, um, so, so my point is, there's just been women coming out of nowhere, and this is how it happens all the time. And what he's basically saying is, like, um, it's not, I, I don't have a problem with, like, soul ties or, well, at least not anymore, I don't. As a, as a man, you know, uh, I'll just use the most recent example. My last uh, three girlfriends that lived, how many was it, two? Hold on. Two. Yeah, my last two girlfriends in the last in the eight years I've been here, um, we broke up and that was it didn't call him, didn't text him, did nothing. And as a, as an adult, um, going back about eight or nine years or so, I haven't um, did that flip and flop and all that soul tie stuff they're talking about. Basically, just like they have like a spiritual power over you. Not like sex or nothing, but... Uh, uh, Really, may, may, probably not the best uh, outcome is going to happen if you keep sleeping with this person. Like having a kid that y'all don't got no business having or, or, or whatever. Whatever the case may be. It usually ain't going to turn out good. And usually we know these things, but we do it anyway because we're, we're spiritually ignorant. Or, or we just don't give a damn. 
what God says and we do what we want to do. Um, which is kind of the whole point of what I'm saying. And uh, so all these thousands of women I'm talking to, and remember the context now, like what he's saying. It's when you're, so what was I doing? I was abstaining, I was doing this and that. I currently regressed on that, um, which I talked about in the last video, but um, uh, it's benefiting me now since I found her because um, I wasn't getting on, involved in all that, that rigmarole with all these different people. Uh, and once you're aware of it you're cognizant of the fact then you can be like oh now I see what you're saying God and you can make you know more better decisions more sound decisions in the spirit than to just whatever and uh I can't talk to her too much longer I'm starting to have some pain uh So ironically, I was just like, because like basically because I was just tired and real sick, I just like would just keep swiping until uh, I got out of likes because it's like, I don't have the time and the energy to sit there and that's like scrolling on a YouTube video and just waiting, like, you know what I mean? Or whatever. Um, but when I came across her profile, I told her uh, when I first met her, um, or when I was, we were tech, no, we actually, uh, we text for a little bit, then we FaceTime, and uh, I told her, I said, I usually just go like this, but I was like, when I saw your profile, I actually stopped, and I don't really ever, 10, 10 women or less, I've actually tried to talk to you, like go out of my way to talk to, so I was telling her all these things. So, the irony is, is that you would think I just would have, just, she just would have been like another person, uh, out of whatever. Um, but, I was, I was, uh, praying for one of the main things I really wanted. You know, I got my cats, and, uh. And so it was just like that. So that's why I'm not talking of a place of of lust or of um, like delusion or bipolar or anything. I'm uh, recognizing uh, God bestowing a blessing upon me type of thing. And it doesn't have to be a husband or wife. It could be anything. Um, but when something's a good thing, you know it's a good thing. Just like I've seen the Lord only once. He came to visit me. And uh, he's probably about where that wall was. About that far away, maybe. And he didn't have to announce it was him. I knew it was him. So when you're in the presence of the Spirit, you know you're in the Spirit. When you're in the presence of God, you know in the presence of God. When you're in the presence of the Lord, you're in the presence of the Lord. You don't have to, these things don't have to be said. They're, they're set in spirit. Um, and God communicates with us in uh, the spirit in multiple ways, but in a way that we can all understand. And uh, and, and basically, she, she fits... Um, it, it's not like I'm, I'm up here, like, giving people hints on, like, None of my profile says, this is the type of one I'm, I want to be with, this, this, and this. So it's not like she just happens to swipe and it just so happens to be like she's already pre-vetted, like filled out a job application to be my wife or something. And, um, but the, like, like I said, uh, you know when you know and uh, we're compatible in every way. But like with my last two exes, I didn't have that uh, that mindset. It was it was pretty much just a lust thing, really, to be honest. I had the intention of marrying them, but it wouldn't that that wasn't what God had in had in store type thing. 
And, um, but let me finish this part real quick. Because these demons don't want to see you prosper. And it's just as simple as that. So, of course, it's the most important to watch who you land down with and be able to have more self-control. Because you can feel when you have self-control over your hormones and you're not all horny trying to have sex with everybody or with every girl or man that you talk to. You can feel it. You can feel it. When you really have self-control, you know, you only get turned on for that person that you're supposed to be doing it with. You know, hopefully you get married. Hopefully people bring back, you know, marriage. You know what I'm saying? And not let social media discourage you from actually wanting to propose to your woman. You know, and I'm talking. So stop reading all these comments. Stop watching all these videos. Live your own life. Have your own experiences. Make your own decisions. Stop letting... Don't let me just drink Pepsi all day and Mountain Dew all day and all, all I talk about is how great Pepsi and Mountain Dew is. You mess around and drink anything, it's the nastiest thing in the world. But then you drink a Coke and a Sprite, you're like, oh, this is great. This is the greatest thing ever. But if all you do your whole life is, is drink Pepsi and Mountain Dew just because I say it's so great and you just like my videos or whatever, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're living a lie. You're not being true to yourself. So be true to yourself. Do your own critical thinking. Quit, quit worrying about what I say or anybody says. I don't, get any, I don't care if it's your mama, your dad. I don't care who it is. You take it to God. And he'll never mislead you. I promise you that. That's a fact. And all people do is get in comments. You know? And people just... Whatever the first ten comments you read, that's your your that's your, uh, your your reality. It's like... How you know you like... How you know you could shoot like Curry if you ain't never shot a three in your life? Why don't you get up there and start shooting first and see if you hit it or if you don't hit it? Or how many you make? That's all I'm saying. Because what people do is, everybody focuses, the internet's 90% bad, negative. And... That, that negativity wears off on other people and in the comments. And that's what the enemy wants, is division and chaos, divide and conquer. And when, when that's the environment, it's not conducive to any, too much good coming about. So when you do have somebody that's speaking some logic, some reasonable stuff, I don't tell nobody to do nothing except for to get saved and, you know, repent, be born again, and, and be with the Lord when, we, when, when you pass. That's really the only thing I'd ever really tell anybody. Uh, I, I would encourage that more than anything. That's the best decision you can make in your life. Outside of that, you do what you want to do. Just don't do nothing illegal or anything. But, um, so pretty much what he's saying is what I just said in this video an hour ago, and I just so happened to watch this, so I think it's kind of funny. But further to the point, me and him, we think just alike. I think it's all I wanted to say. Talking to men. You know, too many people get caught up in, you know, I don't want to get married, I don't want to do this. You know, like, bring the old school back. You know, bring back what your grandparents did got married and stayed together 40 years you know i know a lot of people out there that still actually want that kind of life but on our way to doing so you know hopefully you gather the discernment to be able to make that right choice on the person you choose to lay down with you know marry or just be with you know i'm not saying you have to get married but you know let's just make sure we're choosing the right people first you know what i'm saying or you know we end up paying for it in ways that you know, you, you wouldn't imagine it'll bring a lot of drama into your life when you. Ch yeah, so like I was saying with the last two women that lived here with me, the last two girlfriends, that would have been a, a situation like that, and it was already happening. And, uh, but anyway, uh, I was going to say one more thing.
can't remember. I just had it in my mind. Oh, I, I made a funny thing, but a little bit, like a few days before I met her, um, I was like, uh, I was like, forget a like, I'm trying to get a wife. And the Lord dropped her in my life. Let's go. Go Harley. Get it Harley. Okay. Real pretty girl. You getting cleaned up? That's real pretty girl. All up in the daddy zone. Yeah. They all up in the daddy zone. Oh, yeah, that's what she said. She said she's going to be her mama now. Oh, no, I, I said there's two girls in the house. I said, I said, uh, I said, uh, Harley's my girl. And you're my girl or something like that. And then, and then, uh, she said, uh, she's going to be, uh, well, I said Harley's a daddy's girl. And then she said, uh, she's going to, and now she's going to be a mama's girl. So these ain't no, this is, like, you can't sit here and, I mean, you could, but this ain't like MySpace where you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend application or whatever. If, if that's the case, then people are just, like, reading off a cheat sheet or something, or they're, like, looking on their notepad or something, then, yeah, okay, they're probably setting you up. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. I'm out.